get your insole and the sole pattern from your rubber three or rubber four, depending on the one you get from the market, get from all your retail stores. So, for example, this is your rubber four, rubber three. You place, please ensure you're starting with your right leg. When you place your right leg first, you mark it like this. Please turn it upside down to get both legs. Don't do it like this. If you do it like this, you are you are you are marking out the same leg. Make sure you are turning it upside down after marking your right leg. Please remember to turn it upside down so you won't make mistakes. You mark the second one. So when you mark the second one, after cutting it out, if you turn it like this, which means you've marked the your left and right leg. So the next thing you do, you place use your insole to get your sole. To, 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 to mark out your sole. Please don't avoid using your pattern to mark out your sole. Avoid using your pattern to mark out your sole. Always use your insole to mark out your sole. Because when you do that, you have um, you it will help you to wh while you are filing. Because when you file, there's always an allowance when you use your insole to get your sole. There's always an allowance. So when you are filing, immediately you get to the insole while you are filing, you will stop. So if they are the same, there's every tendency that you reduce the the width of your insole. So now we are going to do the design. So it's just it's just a straight design. Like one like this, one like this. We want this one, this strap to be wider, to be smaller than this one. The back strap, this is the back strap, and this is the front strap. The front strap is smaller than the back strap. So, like we've done here, we are using. Remember, I said it's a fabric, is a is a is a slippers, a beach slippers, made with um, Ankara African fabric. So, um, we are using this material. It's a synthetic material. We are using it to do the. To pad the Ankara fabric which means because if you touch this Ankara fabric it's very light so you can't use it like this it's very light so to make it more durable and more stronger we use this um, um, synthetic material to pad it so the first thing you do you add gum to this side you add gum to your fabric the measurement of this strap is the, for the small one is one one quarter for the width length is 10 inches the, for the wide strap this one is one and a half width the length is 10 inches so you place this one here you place it here when you place it here you add gum to the surface. You add gum here. You wait for it to dry for 60 so seconds. So after putting gum on the um, synthetic, please, when putting gum on your fabric, it's always at the back. Don't put gum at the front. You put gum slightly on the back of your fabric. So after allowing it to dry for 60 seconds, you fold like this. You fold your fabric. So this synthetic helps you to fold a very, very neat, to fold in a very, very neat way. So after folding like this, please watch what I'm doing. You turn it upside down like this when you turn it upside down you take your biro you rule a line like this you rule a line like this after ruling a line like this you open it when you open it 
take your scissors you cut just like half inch above the line you ruled half inch above the line you ruled after doing it like this then the line you ruled you fold it exactly on the line you ruled you fold your fabric like this exactly on the line you ruled When you fold it like this, you now add gum slightly on the fabric. You add gum here too. When you add the gum, make sure your gum is not getting to the tip so that your work won't be rough. So you allow it to dry for 60 seconds. So after allowing it to dry, you now fold so when you fold it will now be exactly your fabric right now be neatly done so you can stitch stitch it so that the strap will stay for a longer period of time right so this is what you do very very neatly so you repeat the same process on all the other straps repeat the same process what we did on all the other straps so now that we have done our strap we folded them so the next thing we are going to do is to stitch we we'll stitch on the straps So we have stitched our upper. So now we are going to last last it. So this is our insole. So what you do is you mark this place. Always leave when you are marking. At least it should not be less than one inch inside. It should not be less than quarter rather quarter inside quarter inside when you mark here remember i said your toes they are slanted like this yeah it's not straight from your big toe to your last toe is not a straight line it is slanted which means you bring this side down a bit just a bit right so you use I always advise people to use the wideness of your strap to measure the wideness of your holes so when you mark it like this you mark the other side the reason why you need to give a space here because of your filing after filing at least the space that will remain that will, that will be left from here to the ending will be at least a bit like this you don't want to get to a point where you're filing and it will meet your strap or whatever design that is here so for the down you leave three inches from the down to up for your back strap so you take your back strap to get the wideness right then you punch
this is how you get your points punch it remember so, i said when you mark it use the wideness of your strap to get the wideness of your punches right so now we are going to cut using our cutter you cut it like this is either you cut it like hold it like this or hold it like this whichever is comfortable for you cut it down to the next point down like this down down like this down 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 like this right so what you do is next thing you do to get to make sure your other leg is accurate right just place whatever you done here place it on top of the other insole like this make sure they are equal then use your biro just mark out the points mark out the points so you've gotten points for the other leg so attach your your straps after attaching your straps then you need to set it with your last this is size 40 last you can use this 40 last for 41 or 39 you can use it to last 41 or 39 so you put it inside to set it in a, in a situation where you don't have a last you can use your leg your foot to set it so when you wear it you just be adjusting it make it firm after making it firm then you reduce turn it and reduce cut just cut a little bit out of your straps and apply gum you apply gum apply gum and wait for it to dry for about 60 seconds so that it can gum very well so repeat the same process on the other on your right leg because this is the left leg repeat the same process for whatever we've done on your right leg <music> Synthetic to it, to pad it. It won't be standing like this. It won't be very firm like this, right? So it's always good to pad and cara fabrics, especially when you're doing slippers or sander with a material like synthetic, right? So this is it. What is left is just to attach it to the sole. So when we attach it to the sole, we'll file. <laughs> 